Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be doing some cleaning. So I'll be bringing you some cleaning motivation as well as I am going to declutter and organize one of our closets that's kind of in our entryway area it was just getting a little out of control and the last two times that I opened the door to the closet something fell out and hit me on the head so I knew it was time to get in there and kind of organize it a little bit so that'll be coming up soon but to start with I'm just cleaning up the kitchen unloading the dishwasher and then getting all those dishes that are on the bench and in the sink into the dishwasher and just kind of giving the kitchen a good tidy up because it was starting to get a little messy so it was definitely time to get in there and clean so that is what we are doing and then I also took down I don't know what it is called but you'll see it here in a second it's soaking in the sink because it's like my second time scrubbing it it's the little vent thing that goes above the fan over your oven over your stove top and it was so gross and like oily I guess it just I don't even know how to clean it properly and I wish I had shown you it before I started soaking it because it was really satisfying to watch it all kind of wash off but I soaked it and then gave it another scrub and now I'm putting it back up there but if anybody has any hints on how to really get in underneath that fan and clean it I would love to know down below because that's the first time that I've had to deal with this kind of situation but anyway moving on to the closet and this is the before like I said I don't feel like it's super out of control or really bad it's just that things were just piling on top of each other especially up the top there and every time you'd go to get something something else would fall down and things were starting to pile down the bottom there it was just going to start to get out of control so I knew I had to get in there and kind of get it organized sooner rather than later and plus a lot of the kids board games were up the top there and they can't really access those or be able to get to them so I just felt like it would be easier if I I don't know somehow managed to make it so that they could freely access some of those board games so to start with I'm just completely clearing out the closet and I put most of the stuff back in some of the stuff I didn't need to put back in it didn't need to go there but it just look at all the stuff that accumulated like the dust and the dirt and the cat hair probably and some dog hairs probably in there too so I'll just give you a close-up of that because it's pretty gross and I'm very real here on my channel so I wanted to show you that because it is satisfying once it was all vacuumed up and that's what I love about these videos is the satisfaction and the motivation that it gives you to like kind of get into those places so I got the floor all nice and cleaned up and then this is where I keep my husband's dress blues. So if you are new to my channel, you may not know this, but my husband's in the military and I don't typically keep these in our wardrobe just because they do take up a little bit of space and he really doesn't wear them that frequently. So I just keep them in this wardrobe and then some of my longer coats are on that side. And then I had this little, I don't know, I guess you could call like shelving kind of unit that was in my daughter's bedroom and it was in her wardrobe but she doesn't need it anymore because she has drawers now that she can use so um, I decided to try to put it in here to see if it would fit and then that way I thought I could put the kids board games down here that way they can freely access them so it did end up working out quite fine so I just started to move all of those board games down and some of these board games are adult board games they're definitely not age appropriate for my children so I did leave some of those down the bottom um, and I'll kind of see how it goes if the kids show too much interest in them and whatnot I'll probably end up moving them back up on top but for now I just put them down the bottom and organized everything nicely on that shelf which you'll see here shortly and it was really satisfying to be able to get this space organized.
course, I had to include a good before and after for that instant gratification. So here was the before. And yes, I mean, I don't feel like it was horrible. I'm not going to stand here and be like, oh my gosh, it was out of control because it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as my other storage closet that I organized and decluttered in a previous video. I'll leave that link down, down below if you want to see a much more satisfying change from being completely overflowing to um, organized. I'll leave that down below if you're interested in that. But this is how it turned out. Like I said, there are some adult board games down there that the kids aren't really going to play with. And then they do have their board games, but everything is just organized and nothing is going to fall off the top anymore. So we do have a Nintendo 64, which I left up there because I don't want the kids getting into that or playing with it. And then just some more of my husband's work gear plus his dress blues and then it just kind of we have a spare tv that I don't really know where else to put it so I'm just leaving it down there and it's just way more organized and just functions really well so I think this turned out a lot better than what it was and I didn't have to go and buy anything to organize which was the plus I just used little shelves that I had and called it a day okay so moving on I thought I would share dinner with you guys so tonight we are having some chicken ranch pasta bake I guess um, and it's really simple all you need is the chicken breast I already chopped mine up so just a chicken breast diced up you'll need some bacon which I already cooked you'll need two tablespoons of butter some black pepper ranch seasoning a little bit of flour and some heavy whipping cream and then you'll also need some parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese and then I also added in some garlic and some broccoli. And then also the pasta. You can use any type of pasta that you have on hand. I don't really think it like matters. You can use penne, bow tie, fettuccine. I feel like would be fine. Any of them would work. But this is what I had. So this is what I was using tonight. And to start with, you're just going to start by boiling some water to get your pasta going. So I got the water going first and then I seasoned the chicken. So I ended up using about half the packet of seasoning on the chicken and then adding half to, to the sauce later on. So I think you probably need, I don't know, maybe like a tablespoon of seasoning to season your chicken. So, and then you just stir that around, make sure the chicken's nice and coated in the seasoning. And then you're going to add that to some hot oil in a pan and cook that until the chicken is cooked. And then once the chicken is cooked, you will remove it from the pan, which you'll see here in a moment. So now that the chicken is cooked and I put the pasta on, I'm just removing the chicken from the pan and setting that aside. And I'm going to get started on the sauce. So you're going to add the butter, but two tablespoons of butter and let that melt. Once the butter has melted, you're going to add in the garlic. It's a really easy recipe, but you're just going to add the garlic, cook the garlic for, I don't know, maybe like a minute just until it's nice and fragrant. You definitely don't want to burn it or anything like that. Then once the garlic is cooked, you can go ahead and add in some more seasoning. So I used the rest of that packet, which, which was probably about another tablespoon maybe two tablespoons and then I added half a tablespoon of flour to help thicken it up so you're just going to whisk, whisk that through the butter and the garlic and then once that's all nice and and mixed in you're going to add some cream I did a cup of cream to start with and then I did add a little bit more once it started to cook so I just kind of mixed that all together and then I did add I think I added about three quarters of a cup of cream but I don't think that you needed that much I probably should have just gone in with another half a cup so about a cup and a half of cream I think would have been plenty and then stir that all up until it's nice and blended and then you're just going to let that thicken a little bit and once it starts to kind of boil I added in the broccoli and mix that all together and then once the broccoli is added in and mixed together I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese. Um, you can really do this to taste. We like Parmesan cheese. So we, I probably added about a cup of Parmesan cheese, maybe a little bit more, and then mixed that all together until it was nice and melted through. 
and then I seasoned it with some pepper once again to taste. If I had some red chili flakes, I would have also added that in, but I didn't have any. So you can add any kind of seasonings and stuff that you personally like. Um, so yeah, this is just, I just put some pepper in it tonight, but you could definitely add chili flakes or whatever else you're into. the chicken back to the sauce and mix that through until it's all nice and coated and then you're going to add your pasta in and give it a good mix to get all the pasta coated in the sauce is all nice and coated I just went ahead and add some mozzarella cheese I had about a cup there of mozzarella cheese I didn't use it all so once again add however much cheese you like and then once that was done I put it into the oven to bake at 375 and I baked it for about 15 minutes if you don't have an oven safe skillet just transfer it to a baking dish before you add the cheese and then um, I put some bacon on top and then I let it bake in the oven till the cheese got all melted and it all got bubbly. But like I said, if you don't have an oven safe skillet, make sure you transfer it into a baking dish and then add the cheese and bacon and then pop it into the oven for probably about 15. I did 15 minutes. You could do 15 to 20 minutes. It's probably plenty. And then this is the end result and it is so yummy. It's definitely a comfort food now that we're getting into the colder nights. It's definitely a really great comfort food. Um, I usually would serve something like this because it is quite heavy with like a salad. And to be honest with you, I just couldn't be bothered this night to make a salad. I did cut up some carrots and <laughs> caught it a night. <laughs> So, but that's it. It was so delicious and so yummy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you got some motivation to declutter or organize a space in your home and some good cleaning motivation as well. And let me know down below if you give this recipe a try or if you want to see more easy weeknight meals, definitely leave me a comment down below. I hope that you all have a great day. Make it count and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.